As the Sanitation Department's 43rd Commissioner, and only the second woman to sit in this chair after a long line of men, it is my hope that the women of the department will see opportunity to take on new positions and advance into leadership roles. I'm Bridget Anderson, Deputy Commissioner of Recycling and Sustainability. Uh, my name is Marie Jean Louis. I'm the Assistant Commissioner of Facility Planning and Engineering. My name is Alana Davis. I'm the Director of Real Estate for the New York City Department of Sanitation. My name is Shari Pardini and I'm a Chief with the Department of Sanitation. My name is Teresa Neal. I'm the Director of the Office of Equity, Diversity and Inclusion. So many of our sustainability goals are coming out of the Office of Recycling, and that's about organics, textiles. Um, in addition, many of our facilities need to be upgraded so that we can continue to perform our core mission, and that is where Maria is coming in very helpfully uh, to make sure that we have a plan and a direction moving forward. The Bureau of Recycling and Sustainability is mostly women at this time. We are involved in communication strategy, developing social media um, networks. We are involved with the, the, the law department, working on policy initiatives. We are out in the field uh, moving electronics and setting up uh, drop-off and collection events. The women in my bureau are analytical, they're focused, they're dedicated, they're very mission-oriented which is uh, a great benefit to me. I'm in charge of uh, addressing the facility's deficiency to ensure that they're in good repair. And also I'm in charge of planning the future rehabilitation or reconstruction of the garages and salt sheds. In my bureau, we have women in various titles. Uh, I have engineers, architects, uh, we have staff in human resources, and also in uh, office administration. I believe that women in the Bureau of Sanitation are really valued based on the position that they currently hold in the agency, and also by the fact that I see the opportunity given in every level, in every uh, discipline. Women's History Month is important due to the fact that often people think the New York City Department of Sanitation is a man's job and highlighting all of the different roles and responsibilities across this organization that women perform every single day, particularly during snow season, is critical. My name is uh, Deputy Chief Cherry Bailey. I started with the department close to nine and a half years ago, back in October of 2005. It's funny because we're here at uh, Q12 Garage and this is where my journey began. Um, as a sanitation worker. I aspire to be a role model for all my fellow and upcoming sanitation workers, supervisors, as well as superintendents to hopefully, you know, follow in my footsteps or follow my journey, you know, someday. I would like for my fellow female co-workers to, you know, see me and realize that, hey, it's not impossible if she can do it, I can definitely do it. You are the first group that is going to be in charge of these new MTSs, so you will become the experts on these facilities. If you have any questions or anything, I'm happy to take them. I just want to know, where did you get that jacket? I like that. When I came on the job, you'll notice there's, everyone's got this jacket. You notice how that's not size for women? Um, and I said, I, I am not wearing something that is only made in men's sizes. And, you know, I'd like to actually say something. So I just told public affairs and they went and have gotten me jackets that are made for women. We will be working on that. We can probably work with the union and, you know, bring our fashion consultants in and design something. Okay. <laughs> My name is Irene Ayala. I'm a sanitation worker and I work at North Shore Marine Transfer Station. Um, I wanted to become a sand worker because my mother was a sand worker and uh, she provided a great, fam a great lifestyle for me and my family. Um, now I'm willing to do the same for my, for my family. Uh, my daughter just recently took the test that came out in um, March and um, I'm very proud of her and she's very proud of me as I am proud of my mom. I, I love the job. I love coming to work every day. I love waking up and coming to work. I love what I do. I love the people that I do it with. And um, I would recommend this job for anyone who is interested in a great career. Yeah, you know I got to put you all on. So oh. you decided to be here? Absolutely. Absolutely. Great. And you were in the last class I was at. Yes. I think that you're going to be in your video. So what's the, what's the first thing you guys are going to do? 
gonna do when this, this whole ceremony is over? Go what home and go to sleep. You know I what? Y'all about the tent set of people. I, I worked four to twelve <laughs> last I'm night. Oh wow! Yeah. You're still working in the. Oh uh, my yes. God. You know what? That, that's <laughs> that's it. You get up, you flat iron, you smile, oh, and then you yeah. go back to bed. That's right. <laughs> well, I really thought out of this group, I would get I would go to Disney World. Uh, oh, no, no. I, no. I, don't, I, don't, I don't make enough money to Disney go to Disney, Disney World, World yet. Oh, you know, okay. Disney World. After February, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Okay, so are you, are you going to go look at pictures of Disney World? Yes. yes. Maybe. Yes. Yes. On the videos, too. Thank you for lying for me. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. My name is Susan Saiso. I'm an electrician. Department of Sanitation, and I have five children. I have four daughters between the ages of 28 and 20. The last one's just finishing up college next year, and I have a 12-year-old son at home. I do this for them. I do this to uh, be a role model and to uh, give them a better life. Uh, being an electrician with the Department of Sanitation has been wonderful. I had to think of the future and and think of my kids and and it also I don't have to work so many hours I can spend time with my family and not have to work all the time. I, I, I'm so grateful for this opportunity and I really like being part of the New York City Department of Sanitation family. Arlana Davis is on the front lines of trying to find space for our core facilities particularly our garages. Chief Pardini actually fulfills a critical role whether or not that rethinking our snow routes, but also looking at how we can most effectively collect refuse and recycling. My office is responsible for ensuring that the department has the, the facilities that it needs to meet its operational goals and objectives. I think it's, it's not just women because sanitation women tend to have direct lines of promotion. But the 596 women that are civilians have felt a sense of uh, maybe disillusionment because there were no promotional opportunities. The most that they could get would be a merit increase. But I believe that since Commissioner Garcia has been here, she's, she's promoted women and she's appointed women to key areas that deal with the functions of this agency. On a more regular basis, I'm part of the team in the Operations Management Division and we are the analytical group of the department. We see that many more women are becoming part of the higher ranking personnel in sanitation. Um, the department itself uh, fosters and promotes inclusion and encourages women, as well as the men here, to uh, move up and move along in the ranks. Um, many of our policies here in sanitation, I'm sure, are affecting um, the policy taken by me many governmental agencies citywide. Um, we set a good standard and promoted and encouraged inclusion and uh, diversity in the workforce. I participate in nearly all employment actions regarding employees and applicants to the department. So in essence, I make sure that everyone is treated fairly, whether it be in hiring, in promotions, in um, any kind of job decisions. I think women in the workforce uh, provide a greater look into the equity that's being advanced in our Everybody Matters program throughout the city. Women come to the workforce with a new look on things, with uh, different opinions, different aspects of how they would handle situations. And let's face it, women are a part of the future. We're here to stay. I, I think all of these women bring a level of experience um, and a perspective that I think is helpful to this department. Um, women clearly are part of successful teams and I think that that will be very useful to this organization moving forward.